Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle Affinity Photo Friday. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create duplicate objects, ones that you can change one and all of them change the color, etc. So I've just created an object here and it could be a star, but this is a rectangle, of course. Go to Layer and Duplicate Linked. It's a special kind of duplication, not the same as duplicate nor duplicate selection. So Duplicate Linked, you could set up a shortcut, of course. Now you could create 500 of these. And you can change one, all will change. So layer and duplicate linked. And you can see if you go to the layers panel, you've got this, you've got this little link. That's what it shows. It shows it's linked. They're all linked. Now this panel actually is not really that much use. It's a little bit of use, so I'm gonna keep it. But it's this is the key panel, links. And you can find that in window menu. So wink there, links. And you can see you've got rectangles, so you can do it for all of them, you'll unlink it. Basically click that, unlinks it. You can go over here and you can do it for opacity, you can do it for layer effects, you can do it vector shape, etc. I'm just gonna do it for the fill, so vector fill. So if I go up here now, I can go to this vector fill and I can go for red. But it could be 3D effect, bevels, all those sorts of things, all can be changed straight away. But say you want to not do that, so you want this one not to change when these two change. Well, you can go over here. With this one selected, go to the links and just go to vector fill. That's what it is, the color. I think it should be just called fill, but it's called vector fill just to throw some slight confusion there. So just click it and that's it. Now, unfortunately, you can't undo instantaneously. It would be nice if you could just click it and it just came back again. Life would be simple in that respect, but no, it doesn't do that. What you need to do, if you want to bring it back again, is another step. So I'm just going to go over here now, and I'm just going to change the color here. If I change that blue, change this one, it doesn't affect the others. So you can see they're disconnected now. Well, if I want to bring it back, what I need to do is, with this one selected, the one that's been unlinked, what I need to do is go to this rectangle, the one just below, or one below that either, it doesn't matter, they're both linked, and then simply just drag that up, hover over there, and you can see a little arrow and release. And now they're linked again. Now I found good five or 50% of the time, sometimes it seems to have a mind of its own. Sometimes it just will not work and you suddenly find that two or three of them will not connect. Even though you try, you try, and it'll disconnect another one. I'm not certain why there's a weird logic there. So, however, you will notice there's also another entry in that links panel. See a big one there? Transform. There's nothing associated with it. Now, I would suggest that you set things up beforehand. Before you touch the transform, and transform is also very flawed, I think. I found it seems to have a mind of its own. It will work on two sometimes. Sometimes it will work on, anyway. I'm not certain, but say, set it like that. Make certain everything's in the positions and everything you want, because unfortunately it's transform. It's position, scale, rotation, and shear. It's so all of them together. So as soon as you start moving things, they all move. Rotate it, they all rotate, which is good, but it would be nice if it didn't do all of them. So let's just change it. So let's just go there. Let's say it's this one. Now with that one selected, what I need to do is just go to this one, to this rectangle. Now, of course, there's no transform at all. So there's a weird logic to it, but what you can do, just drag it up there and you can see the arrow again. And you can do the same with this one. So again, drag up to that one. And again, you can see the arrow. Now, if it all works well, and again, it's 50-50 sometimes, you should be able to then just go to this one and transform. And you can see that it doesn't always work. Sometimes it does. I have noticed doing this, when it does work, it goes completely wrong. So it's not very good anyway. So it's one of those things that suddenly the, all the colors changed and disappeared, which was very confusing. So you think that when I go back to this one, I've got this one still selected, I can drag this up to here and it will indicate that drag that up there, so you think that, oops, transform, that they all should be connected. So definitely all set up, 
And now when I click that and drag that, see this one isn't, it does seem to do that. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. So transform doesn't seem to work as well. It works okay with two, which is not ideal, but I have noticed that. But that is the links feature. And again, like I say, the key thing about this is that if you've done the, the transform linking, what happens, the position also, as well as the scaling, rotation, all of that is linked. Which is great if it worked for 500 because you could manipulate whole loads of designs that way. But that's the links panel. And also you've got this option here. So again, you can deselect everything. So let's just deselect it. It's all deselected now, so they're all disconnected. So again, select this one. And then once you've done that, select the one below and just drag up here and you've got the arrow and they're all linked again. And again, with that one selected, drag that one up to there and transform and they're all linked again. Now, if I run through them, now, weirdly, they are still, but still not that one, which is weird because when I ran through it, I could see it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some weird flaw in that, but you can link all these features back together again using the link. That seems to work okay sometimes, but this transform does seem to be slightly flawed. Anyway, I think it's a great feature if it works. I think you can go here and you've got here blending mode. So again, click here, fix, and you can go to 3D and you can see they all become 3D. We've all got the angle, all those sort of settings. You can do that. So very useful feature. I think a bug report maybe I should put in for making sure that transform feature gets fixed. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please put in the comments below. Maybe you've had no problem. Maybe if you, please let me know if you've done this transform feature, because I think it'd be great if it works. If you do it, let me know in the comments below. Does it work for you? Because I mean, I found it a bit odd, to be honest. It just doesn't seem to work in the way. It would be nice to know that. Bye.